Okay, in this video we're going to be replacing a Honeywell HZ322 zone panel with this uh, Echo J uh, Smart Zone zone panel. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do is to turn the power off to the Honeywell board. Um, there should be a switch or a breaker that can be shut off to kill the power to the transformer that's powering this board. Uh, we've already done that. Um, the next thing we'll do is pull the lid off um, to expose all of the wiring. But before we remove any of the wiring, uh, we want to label the wires so that there's no confusion when we go to wire up the smart zone board. Um, so each of these uh, terminals is labeled and we'll just want to use those labels to create a label for each one of the wires plugged in. Uh, the, this one is a zone damper 1, this is zone thermostat 1, uh, zone damper 2, zone thermostat 2, etc. So we'll make uh, some labels here and begin to label these up. These don't have to be permanent labels just until we get to the uh, wiring of the smart zone board. They'll help us uh, not to forget which is which. So once the wires have all been labeled, uh, you just simply start removing the wires. Uh, one at a time. Um, first you may want to follow the wire that the, the Honeywell temperature sensor was connected to and find out where the sensor is connected into the plenum and replace that sensor with the sensor that came with the smart zone board. Once the smart zone board has been mounted, uh, you can begin uh, reconnecting the wires. Uh, some of them plug in uh, on different sides of the board, so you may have to reroute some of the wires. Um, you can begin connecting uh, the uh, damper wires first. We'll start with uh, Zone 3 damper labeled on the board as damper 3 here. Next, Zone damper 2. Now we have zone, the zone dampers wired up. We'll move to the equipment wires. The system is only a single stage system, so there's only one Y wire and one W wire. Uh, your system may be multi-stage and have a Y2 as well as a W2, or it may be a heat pump and have also an OB wire um, and those terminals are labeled and any type of system can be used with the smart zone. Next we'll wire the uh, thermostat wires. Um, we'll start uh, with zone 3. Once all the thermostat wires are connected and all of the damper wires and equipment wires are connected, before we plug in power, we will make sure and use the, the temperature sensor wire that should be plugged into the plenum as shown in the instruction manual. And the sensor wire has a plug-in connector and we'll plug in just like that. 
before you power the board you should recheck all of your wiring to make sure that there's no shorts and that all the wires are plugged in securely. Finally we'll plug the power wire in. The transformer powering this power wire should be off. Make sure and refer to the Smart Zone installation manual uh, to make sure that your transformer is large enough to power all of your dampers and everything associated with the zoning system. It's completely wired now and all that's left to do is to power the board.